What's going on, everyone? So The Boy in White is probably, if not arguably, the biggest mystery in all of From. What is he? Is he really helping? Is he really uh, this character that is there in this ecosystem of just evil and monsters as like that one saving grace that you have? Constantly see him throughout helping various characters get out of situations or kind of be a, 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 a an omen, a warning uh, for these characters. And yet, with the mystery, you see two characters in particular uh, that have a connection to the boy in white. And the first character that we see uh, notice and encounter the boy in white is Ethan. Ethan sees the boy in white and later relays it to Victor, who Victor relays that, you know, that the boy in white hadn't been seen in so long. But Victor and the boy in white have a connection. Clearly, Ethan and the Boy in White have some form of connection as well, but Victor and the Boy in White have had a connection for some time. Yes, the Boy in White disappeared for some time, as Victor relayed, but you see various sequences and moments, um, even in the trailer for Season 3, but even just sprinkled throughout, of uh, Victor kind of having these encounters with the Boy in White. You also... Uh, see Victor be saved numerous times and even communicates with the boy in white. We don't actually see him have like conversation dialogue with the boy in white, but uh, like when Tabitha, like when they were down in the, in the caves and stuff, right? Like he said that he told me to wait here and you know, I, I'd find you. So the boy in white clearly has these connections, clearly has uh, an understanding of this place. And even in some cases almost appears like, he knows the future, right? Like he knows what is coming. And Victor in the season three trailer dates back with the boy in white from when he was a little boy. And I imagine we're going to start really unpacking uh, some of their relationship, some of their connection, some of their bond, uh, because I don't think that they had an entire sequence in the trailer of the boy in white and young Victor having this, this, encounter or whatever we see them happening, playing on playsets and stuff, and very likely being his one companion, right? Because there was a stretch where Victor was alone, and the whole thing is about Victor unpacking his memories. It's something that they really kind of harp on in, in season three's trailer, and then you kind of saw in the beginning uh, of the back end of uh, from season two. So my guess is that Victor is going to unpack, unravel something um, that maybe kind of unlocks uh, him and the boy in white's relationship. And maybe we kind of have some things unfolded. Maybe we'll have a better understanding of what the, the boy in white is, right? Is it connected to Victor? Is it, you know, Victor's like imaginary friend or something, right? There is kind of this thought of like, what if this place is created from Victor, right? There's even some clues sprinkled throughout, like where Victor, you know, even talks about this is my home. Now, Obviously, that's an easy to kind of explain. He's been there since he was a child type thing. But there are other moments throughout that I don't want to dive into too much because I don't want to get away from the, the point of this video. Um, but you kind of have these clues that, that maybe Victor is responsible for this place some way, somehow, or maybe his mom or you know some relationship. And I do believe we're going to start unpacking these things. But the boy in white clearly again, has connections with like Tabitha. Right, You see the boy in white help Tabitha, and then you see the boy in white in the real world with Tabitha. So I don't know if it's something that ties to families, right? You have Victor, his mother, his sister, and the boy in white was last kind of around during that time. Because remember, most of the people that were there were already there when Jim and Tabitha and Ethan and Julie all got to, to Fromville. Right. So obviously they had the bus that came and stuff kind of people sprinkled throughout. But the boy in white had disappeared for some time. Victor, when he was little, had that connection. But it can't just solely be a, a child thing, because, again, Tabitha sees him. Boyd or not Boyd, Sarah sees him. Right. Like so there are these adults that have had and experienced the boy in white. So it's not solely just a child element. Right, because that would make sense, right? Even if Victor still saw the boy in white to this day, which obviously it does, but I'm saying like 
you know, because you can make the argument, okay, well, he's an adult now, but he's still so childlike, right? He's still mentally in the capacity in the way that he kind of operates and thinks is very childlike. But again, that kind of goes out the window because of Tabitha, because of Sarah, because of various characters that have had these encounters with the boy in white. But the most interesting thing, and you could look at this two ways. The point in which Victor gives the lunchbox to Tabitha. And as we find out in episode one, that was kind of the key for Tabitha to find out where she needs to go. She's kind of lost, kind of just walking around aimlessly, trying to figure out and kind of in a bit of a shock. Uh, and then you know, ends up going into the church, discovers the address as well as Victor's last name and is able to find Victor's father, which is, is, Again, kind of the key, right? Now, Victor, I clearly did that deliberately, right? A lot of people think that, no, it's just kind of coincidence, but I've done videos diving into it. There's too much evidence to show that that was deliberate. Does that necessarily mean that Victor is the one that thought of it, right? Doesn't necessarily mean that. We know Victor has talked and communicated with the boy in white. We know that the boy in white has told Victor things, particularly with Tabitha. So there's clearly a connection there. You know, and I've seen people throw out, what if the boy in white is Thomas? Well, it can't be the case because the boy in white was there when Victor was younger. I, was, I showed you in the previous picture. I just kind of wanted to debunk that because I've gotten a lot of comments about that. Like, what if it's Thomas and that's why there's the connection to Tabitha? The only reason that wouldn't make sense is because Victor saw... Um, saw it when he was little. Um, but I digress, right? So it's very possible that the boy in white relayed to Victor, hey, you need to help her, and then gave her the lunchbox. And then he knew where to go because and sent her on the right path, right? Because he appears to Tabitha, but he doesn't lead Tabitha anywhere in particular. He kind of just you know, ventures off into an ice cream shop and then Tabitha has that embarrassing moment, right? But it led Tabitha down the right path, which was this chain of events that ended up leading Tabitha to discovering what she needed to discover, which the priest ends up saying, you know, oh, hey, um, you know, what did he pack you in the lunchbox? So again, it kind of signals that the boy in white maybe can see a bit of the future, kind of knows kind of what people need, maybe read minds or something along those lines. Uh, also, you know, uh, the question is, like, is the boy in white, like, if this place is like a version of hell, is it possible that the boy in white is like an angel or like uh, the, the uh, god or god of that place, right? Like, or god in general and like maybe even the biblical sense, right? Like, it's just an interesting thought, just kind of throwing out there. Maybe we'll do a deep dive video in particular on that. But sticking with the boy in white and, and helping Tabitha and kind of setting up and establishing those sequence of events, right? Because again, Victor, the lunchbox is everything to Victor. That's is, I mean, he uses that for everything and just gives it to her. And again, I know a lot of people think like, oh no, like all parents used to put that on the lunchbox. But again, look at the ink. Look at how specific that everything else is old, rustic, torn up, but the ink looks brand new. Ink looks fresh, right? Like it doesn't look like it's been sitting in that lunchbox for 30 years. And think of all the stuff he's put all these crayons and all these toys and all these things in it. And it's never, it, it's just pristine, right? Like everything else in that lunchbox is old and, and withered away, but no, not the, not the address and stuff, right? Which again, kind of leads you to believe that the boy in white at least had a hand and kind of navigating that helps Tabitha get out, right? The boy in white clearly is has some significance in purpose in trying to help specific characters, right? He helps Boyd. Boyd is, as we've seen, has been the most significant character in Fromville. Right, I mean, so much. So, I mean, the, the the monsters are literally trying to break him, right? And he ends up venturing off and is more likely going to die. And then the boy in white ends up showing up and saving the day, right? And then 
but he doesn't reveal it through Boyd, through Sarah, right? But the boy in a way also knows that Sarah's with him, right? And can see things and understands things and has this clear connection and overview, right? Like, is it possible that the that all of this is due to the boy in a way, right? Like, you know, you there's a, a in Supernatural a character that can kind of manifest things and the the TV show. It's like, there's been several, for being honest. But, you know, like, what if this boy has this gift and it is this imagination and, and kind of trap and lock people into this realm? And, you know, that would make sense why he's in the real world or what appears to be the real world and from them, right? What if it is part of his creation, part of his imagination, and he's kind of helping and guiding these people and, maybe you know, maybe he can't control it or... You know, maybe he, you know, maybe there's a grand purpose to it all, right? Getting a lot to unravel, a lot to unpack. Obviously, you know, we, we don't have all the details. That's why I mentioned earlier, like, this is one of, if not the biggest mysteries in all of From. But you you have this boy who has a connection with Victor that is going to be expanded on, is going to continue to to play a point and play a purpose. And, you know, you, you see the boy in white at times even be able to predict the future, right? Like with Victor and the boy in white telling Victor to stay in the cave and wait because he knows what's about to happen to Tabitha. Tabitha ends up breaking through, ends up falling through, right? So the boy can at least see and hear and, and know things that are going on. And we've seen that in Fromville, like the monsters and stuff are privy and aware of things that are said even what appears to be in private at times, right? So you have these characters or these monsters. It would make sense that you'd have kind of that counterbalance, that one counterbalance. But the boy in white doesn't go and show himself to everybody. Boy in white doesn't go and help everybody. Only seems to help very specific characters, which leads to a connection. It's why I think Victor is that connection. Victor took a real liking to Ethan, him and Ethan became, you know, BFFs. On top of him and Ethan becoming BFFs, Tabitha kind of took a liking to Victor because Victor is so childlike, and Tabitha kind of gets and understands, and you know, also with Thomas and stuff like that, right? Like, I think that there's that just that motherly instinct, and I think she's aware. Where Jim, right? Jim was mean to Victor and threatened Victor, and was like, so you had the two people that have the closest relationship to Victor are the two people that see the boy in white with regularity and the boy in white is willing to help, right? Same thing with Sarah and Boyd, right? Sarah, you see talking to Victor all the time and they kind of have somewhat of a relationship and you even see that in season three. But Boyd, more than anything, Boyd's the one that's trying to keep Victor alive and is patient with Victor and kind of lets Victor do his thing, right? But also there's a significance to it. Right? Like, so you look at the characters that have been in contact with the boy in white. They all kind of have some type of tie to Victor, right? To an extent. And that's where I think it really lies. I think the boy in white, ha and we're going to unravel, as you see in season three's trailer, uh, kind of more of a connection of Victor and the boy in white. Um, I'm personally really excited to see, like, how does this unfold, right? What is the connection? What is, like, is it Victor, right? Is the boy in white, you know, maybe Victor's brother that died at some point, right? Or, you know, maybe, what if the connection is, and why Tabitha and Ethan are able to see the boy in white so regularly and the boy in white helps them so much, right? A lot of people think that, what if it's Thomas, right? Which again, can't really be Thomas given that, you know, Victor sees him uh, even as a child, but what if it was a similar situation as Tabitha? What if Victor's mother ended up having lost a child that is the boy in white and it's really Victor's brother and now there is that connection to Tabitha and Ethan, stuff like that, where you know he goes around and hangs out with Victor. I mean, the boy in white could essentially be anything. There are so many different ways, directions, left, right, up, down, that you can go with the boy in white because we have, we just have no clue. The only thing that we know is that the boy in white is helping people. The boy in white communicates with Victor. And the boy in white appears at times to know 
everything that's going on, as well as even future things. Now, whether that's just kind of knowing the situation, because you could argue like the boy in white is knows that Tabitha is digging straight down and knows what's underneath. So kind of knows inevitably she's going to do that. Inevitably she's going to fall in. But like even with all the trees and stuff like that, right? Like you, you get that from boy in white, you know, kind of signaling, Hey, get in the tree type thing. Um, but clearly Victor and the boy in white have some significance, have some type of connection, uh, have a, a type of bond. And I'm really excited to kind of unpack this uh, as we move forward into, um, continued into season three. But Anyway, as always, this is a discussion, and I pass a question on you. Let me know your thoughts and opinions down in the comments below. What do you think? How do you feel? What are your thoughts? Um, do you have any theories or any ideas on the boy in white? Anything specific? Uh, however you feel, whatever your thoughts are, I'd love to hear it. So let me know down in the comments below. That being said, if you haven't liked this video, hit that like button. Helps me a lot. So we enjoy these types of videos. Truly appreciate it. Not subscribe channel. What are you doing? Hit that subscribe button. Turn on the bell notifications. Appreciate y'all. See you in the next one. Thank you.